Um, what changes have you seen in Monastery? Because you have you lived there when you were little and you said you're back again as an adult. Well, the changes are most, some of the houses are not there anymore. They're old and gone. Yeah. And I don't know too many from there anymore because I moved to Victor. Yeah. I, mean, I know that some of the houses are gone. Drive through there. And it's not the same. It's not the same at all. Do you know where Evanside School was? You went? No, I don't know that. No. You know the one going to Mulgrave, though? The one that's off the highway? Right yes. at the green store? Yes. Right across the bridge? Mm hmm. You go up that other road, that's where I went to school. Yeah, oh. the long road. Across oh, okay. the bridge. Up. <laughs> that was a long walk for a kid. That is, yeah. Wow. And then yeah. in the summer, when the water was really low in the river, mm -hmm. I could go across the river to the school. So you could cut across there and save some time. Yeah. Yeah. But I had to go with my teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she lived on that road too. Oh, uh, okay. Do you know Ann Wallace? No, I don't. Oh. No, was she your teacher? She was a teacher. Mm hmm She was a teacher for a long time. And I was only a little then with going to school and I stopped at every house. Well, not that there's all that many, but I never Never passed one of them in this house and that house. <laughs> I took a long time to get home first. <laughs> Would you stop and say hi hello to everybody and Yeah, no, the neighbors. See what was yeah. going on? That's really nice, that sense of community. It was good. That is good though. Did you guys get together with your neighbors and you know, have there's kitchen not, parties or there's not enough neighbors there to have that at that time. Okay, you just would stop by on your way home from school yeah, and say hi to everybody. Down, sit down for five minutes and go again. <laughs> at first your mother must have been like, when is she going to get home? Yeah, she was kind of worried there, I suppose, at first, but then she got used to the knowing that I called in every house. Yeah, once she knew I what was I going on. I must have been on. getting tired or something. <laughs> every house up the road. That's funny. <laughs> okay, um... And what was the school like there? Was it like a one-room schoolhouse? Mm-hmm. How many kids were there about? Oh my gosh. No more than 15. Mm-hmm. No so it was right that. little one-room schoolhouse. Yeah. Yeah. What did you guys get up to? What kind of stuff did you learn? Oh, we did like math mm -hmm. and reading. Mm-hmm. Never had singing and things like they have today. Never had class. We just learned uh, math, English. The basics. Basics. Yeah. Um, on your lunch breaks and stuff, what did you guys do for fun? Break. Can we go 15 minutes outside? Okay. Run around and make noise. <laughs> How long did you go to school for? Oh, I went to school up there for about three years, mm -hmm. then my father moved to Picto because the shipyards, so then we were, lived in Picto for quite some time, maybe maybe ten years. Okay, so you went to school up there. How was that different? Con I went to the convent there. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. So that would have been a bit bigger, wouldn't it have been? Yeah, and I've learned a lot more there than I would in the monastery. Mm -hmm. More so than the one teacher dealing with all the grades. It's good.